Let's see, then what happens is feminism tells women that, no, 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 we like men who look like women. We like men with softer edges, no hair, softer baby face, very submissive men. Then women get that, then they divorce. Choose yourself up. This video topic will be about the pretty boy apocalypse. Let's get into it. See, the growing number of women who don't know what they like has only been increasing. Women don't even know what turns them on. They don't know exactly what it is. They can't explain it. They just feel emotions. It's why when you ask a woman, what turns you on? What kind of guys are you into? She has a hard time explaining it and usually contradicts herself. About 80% of the time, they'll say things like, I like a guy who's very compassionate, soft, boyish looking, buys me flowers, chocolate, willing to listen to my feelings. Very direct and simple. Yet, who do they fuck? Guys are very masculine. Guys don't give a shit. Guys who are cold. Guys who are hard to read. Guys who don't kiss her ass. Guys who are willing to stand up for themselves. Guys who are very masculine and righteously masculine. So what does that say? You can't trust a woman's opinion on what women like. You don't ask a fish how to catch a fish. You ask a fisherman how to catch fish. So when girls say that dating is like this, it's not like that, and men want this, men don't want that, it's like, women, you're not men. Men think completely differently than women do. Always been, always will be. Now, with women not knowing what they like and being influenced by trends and social media and society on fashion and all this stuff and acceptance and wokeness and the growing population of betas, women don't even know what masculine is. In fact, women are willing to fight you to the death to make you believe that masculinity isn't real, that's bad, that masculinity can be anything, that masculinity can be sometimes feminine. That's bullshit. You want to know why certain things women biologically want. Tallness. Bigger than her. She wants to admire the man. The man needs to lead her. Yeah, she'll say, oh no, I don't want a man to lead me. But then she'll end up being with guys who lead. So I don't listen to women when it comes to dating advice. Listen to men. Because, well, don't ask a fish how to catch fish. Ask a man how to catch women. Don't ask women how to catch women. Women hate each other. Because women understand women. But a man can tell you how to catch a woman because men understand men. And we don't hate each other. At least the alphas don't. Betas, yeah. Betas are insecure as fuck. So the growing population of women who don't know what they like. Trends and influence of social media. And guys not knowing their own masculinity has created pretty boy cute baby face apocalypse where guys nowadays are being persuaded and told to dye their hairs, paint their nails, be socially passive and nice. Don't be muscular. Our women don't care about looks. Mm-hmm. Sure. You see this in Korea. You look at the men, Korean men, most of them have pretty boy faces. No beards or any of the sorts. Then again, it's kind of hard for them to grow it, but you get my point. You see a growing number of men looking more like women, taking longer than women, having crazy skincare routines. To the point, they act almost like girls. They wear girlish stuff. In Korea, K-pop idols, it's crazy, man. Some of them are gay. And you're not surprised. I mean, look at the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they dress. Now, imagine if you're not a gay man and you're acting like a Korean man. You have colorful hair. Your nails are colored. 
you wear contacts, you wear makeup, good. Korean men, they wear makeup, especially K-pop idols, you wear makeup, you wear colorish crazy clothes, you wear pink animal hats, you're very submissive and agreeing, when it comes to groups, if other men, women are only attracted to these K-pop idols, because these K-pop idols have influence, for one, for two, they have status, for three, they're rich, and it's funny, Girls will always go for these guys, but certain of these guys have certain traits that make them the most attractive. That every girl wants them. Tall. Muscular. Bad boy look. Over here in the western area, never, ever sacrifice your masculine qualities. Being tall is attractive internationally for women. Being tall, being muscular, having a bit of hair on your body but see then what happens is feminism tells women that no 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 we like men who look like women we like men with softer edges no hair softer baby face very submissive men then women get that then they divorce so you have a growing number of men who are just being boys acting like boys dressing up as boys because girls are telling them that's what they like but girls don't know what you like, so technically they're bullshitting the men. And if you're stupid enough to believe a woman of what she says, you don't know female nature yet, bro. The attack on masculinity lowers male models, lowers the average man's value. Weirdly enough, as society goes on and on, with all the mental illnesses going on, medication, shitty foods, shitty diets, Men just being unhealthy, not well kept, no body respect to eat healthy foods and work out and take care of it. We're seeing a decrease in testosterone. The lowest it's ever been in men. The lowest it's ever been in men. So now guys are looking more boyish, acting more boyish. Their testosterone is lowering, which by the way, testosterone is what makes a man a man. A man has... Average 600 to 700 milligrams per deciliter of testosterone. So then what happens when you lower that? Men look less manly. Testosterone, by many people, people think testosterone is linked to having the will to live. Because for certain men who have a testosterone problem, either going through uh, chemotherapy, medications, depression, once the men start getting on testosterone injections, guess what? The men are more lively, the men are more positive, more driven, they're having more ambitions of life. So testosterone in a way is linked to vitality, is linked to life. Testosterone is what brings life to begin with, so it kind of makes a lot of fucking sense. But testosterone is what gives men the drive to be alive. If that starts lowering, what happens? You're not focused. You have always a foggy brain. You're not as driven, you're not as strong, you're not as aggressive, you're not as dominant, you're not as assertive. Lack of opportunities. Lack of mates. Lack of social interactions. Lack of finances. Lack of family structure. All those things right there that I just named decrease in a bad way when a man loses his energy, his life force. There's so many men out there. Why do you think there are groups of men doing no fap, semen retention, no more dating, no more sex, no more porn, no more their phones, no more TV, no more junk food, no more being lazy. Why do you think there are groups of people like this? And why do you think men who are high value men, who are successful men, implement a lot of these traits and these qualities that these groups have? Because it makes a difference. Porn is destroying men. It's a resource. It's in constant demand. Because most guys aren't getting laid. 20% of men date 80% of the women. So sex is in constant demand. Women want men they can look up to. They want to look up to a man if he looks like a boy. That's why girls date older men. Girls by the age of under 18 are already seeking guys 2 to 4 years older. As soon as she hits 18, 
she goes and screws around with guys 30, 40, man, you name it. I'm serious. I've seen it happen. Women are attracted to older men. Women are attracted to men who have their shit together, who are masculine looking. Soft shapes like a baby face man are feminine. The woman's body is very soft, wave-like form, the perfect hourglass form. What is a man's shape? What is a man's body? It's a very direct, strong, hard surface. You've got the traps, the neck, the pecs popping out, the shoulders popping out, triceps, biceps, forearms, thick wrists, deep voice, abdominal showing, V-line showing. Tallness. These traits is what makes a man a man because testosterone makes these traits happen to you. But with testosterone lowers, guess what? These traits aren't gonna show. They aren't gonna happen. When you can start mistaking guys for girls, you know shit's about to go down. And so I recommend every guy grow a beard, even if it's a stubble. Even if it's a stubble, grow facial hair. Having a facial hair makes you feel more like a man. Makes you look more like a man. Sure, you might not know how to grow a beard. Sure, it might suck the first couple of weeks, first couple of months. It's a process, man. It's an investment. And growing a beard isn't the be-all, end-all. You want to grow a beard, grow a beard, but don't be obsessed over it. Take care of it. Trim it. Nurture it. Beard oil. Get a trimmer. Make sure you cut off the proper edges. Watch a video on how to do it. Now, what else is contributing to the cute boy apocalypse? The fashion. No, fashion. Something women put a lot, a lot of value into. Fashion is being run by propaganda, social media, marketing agencies, wokeness, feminism. It's on make men look feminine men are wearing women clothes now and you want to be taken seriously by a woman sure they might vote for you sure they might say go you sure they might say oh my god you're so cute whatever the fuck but they'll never be into you romantically it's like those loser guys who go into feminist groups and say i'm a i'm a male feminist the guy is just there to get laid and it's not working Feminist women have said it themselves, they still want masculine men. They still want them. They did a study checking on why women want men who look more masculine. And in the study, they came to a conclusion. Simply, they're not fucking sure. They examined that women who were in dangerous areas of countries and cities. Example, infested with disease. Women chose men who looked more masculine over men who looked less masculine. Then they thought, okay, so if, if areas that are more dangerous, women go for men who look more masculine, it's for safety. So women want to be protected. But then after they did another study, another group did a study, that women chose men with more masculine looks in a city and area that was completely fine. No problems easy place to live like somewhere in America so what does that say women don't know what they want until it's time to choose who do you want to fuck when it's time to choose who do you want to fuck you watch their actions not their words there you go the truth shows women want masculine men they always will don't you dare sacrifice your masculinity don't you dare you will regret it. Don't do things for women. Do it for you. Sure, women can be a part of it, yeah. But if women are telling you to be a little bitch, are you going to go be a little bitch? No. Because one thing that beats all is women are the eye candy. Women are the eye candy. Not necessarily men. You can be an average looking man and get yourself a very hot piece of eye candy ass. You don't need to look like a woman to get women. You need to look like a man to get women. You need to look like a masculine man to get feminine women. Because you don't want a masculine woman. Those ones are freaking headaches. 
you will regret it. Point of the video. Don't get sucked up to the propaganda and the fashion and women and all this influence and social pressure about demasculinizing you. No. You're not going to wear girl clothes. You're not going to wear nail polish. You're not going to wear makeup. You're not going to dye your hair and be crazy and go to these weird events where women are going topless to show how strong they are. Nah. You're going to focus on you. You're going to work on you. You're going to be buffer, wealthier, more attractive. More confident. Now, don't forget to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Alright, thanks for watching the video. If you want to watch more, check out these two videos right here. Don't forget to follow me on IG, Rumble. Check out my website. Or Reddit. There's always more to learn, man. Don't you forget that.